Hello piggy people, today's video I'm going to share with you 10 products that I use for my guinea pigs quite often and I think they're really handy to have. In the comments below tell me how many of these products do you have on hand and what products that I share are you going to get. So first we have Kind and Gentle Shampoo from Gorgeous Guineas. This is a really big bottle. So Gorgeous Guineas has an online site where you can purchase lots of piggy related products, shampoos, ointments, creams. Absolutely love using this shampoo for all of my guinea pigs. It's a really gentle shampoo that can even be used for the skinny pigs. And even if you think one of the bottles online seems expensive, it'll last you for years and it's really good quality stuff. The next two products are also from Gorgeous Guineas. So there's Calendula Lotion on the left and F&M Ointment on the right. The lotion on the left is perfect and gentle for using on skinny pigs if they have dry skin and sometimes coconut oil isn't working. You can also use it for any piggies on their ears. And the ointment on the right is perfect for anything that's dry or crusty so you could use it on foot pads or any mouth sores. I personally use it on the foot pads but both of those creams are great. You can also get an ointment that's called Perfect Paws that you can put on your guinea pig's foot pads after every little nail clipping that you do. Next is this Calendula ointment from River City Herbals. So I got this on a Canadian site that was called well.ca. I have been using this on Apple Dumplings Lady Parts to protect her from urine scald because she does have some incontinent issues meaning she's always leaking pee out and that was really irritating her skin. But since we've been using this, she looks perfect. This would also be perfect to use on foot pads or any dry or crusty ears. So it's something that you could all put in your medical care kit. Next is Pet Safe Scissors. So as you'll see at the tip, they're rounded so that you're not going to accidentally poke your pet. I use these scissors all the time. Any guinea pigs that have a bit of a longer hair, so velvet especially, these work excellent for trimming around their back legs, their bum. I trim a lot of velvet's bum hair just to keep things fresh. So I recommend everybody get scissors. You never know when you're going to need them. So these are little pet clippers. So I purchased these from a set that came with larger grooming clippers and then these ones were classed as for face and feet and they're just tiny enough to use for pigs so I use these to shave Apple's back end, her tummy, her back legs, her bum to keep her dry and I think they're an awesome thing to have on hand. You never know when you might use, want to use them especially for seniors if they're having trouble with a messy bum it would be perfect to clip your guinea pig to keep them clean. Next is Sherwood Recovery Food. I highly recommend this to everybody. I absolutely love the ingredients in this and it's excellent to feed your guinea pigs if they're unwell, if they're seniors, if they just need a little help with eating more, if you need to mix it with some probiotics, maybe because they're on antibiotics. It's excellent to hand feed this stuff and you never know when you might need it. So these are pre-little package portions, which I absolutely love. Then you don't accidentally mix up way too much and waste it. Because you got what you mix up you should be using within 24 hours. So I was always mixing up way more than I could use in 24 hours. And now with these little packet portions, it seems to go a lot easier. Next, everybody should be having syringes on hand. You never know when you might need to hand feed your guinea pig. So feeding them the recovery food or syringing water to them. You can pick these up from your vet clinic. You could get them at pharmacies, doctor's offices. I'm sure you can find them on Amazon if you're searching. But have syringes on hand so that you can be prepared. Next is this packet of Benabac Plus. This is probiotics. So I like to always have this on hand in case one of my guinea pigs has soft poops and they need some probiotics. If they're on antibiotics, you put them on probiotics. In a pinch, you can always use a healthy pig poop from another guinea pig. Mix it in water and give that to your guinea pig. So I, I do both. It just depends. 
Some guinea pigs respond to this just fine. Some people find it doesn't really do anything for their pig, so they use natural pig poop. Yum. Next, this is betadine. So this is an antiseptic solution. It's iodine, so it doesn't sting or burn your guinea pig skin. It's not as harsh as like peroxide, alcohol. This is something to clean out minor wounds, especially if you're, say, doing an introduction and somebody gets injured, like a minor injury, you can use this to clean it out. You never know. Things happen, so it's always good to have on hand. Lastly, this is something I have on hand at all times. So this is a contact lens solution. This is a saline solution. So what I use this for is if a guinea pig has a piece of hay in their eye, or sometimes you'll even see they have some of their own hair stuck in their eye, I use this to rinse out their eye to get rid of the problem because you don't want that hair or that little fleck of hay causing an eye injury or getting shoved back behind their eye causing a big mess. So as soon as I see anybody with anything in their eye, I just take them out, flush out their eye, and we're good to go. So this has come in handy so many times. So thanks everybody for watching. And as I said before, comment down below, how many of these things do you have? How many of these things are you interested in getting? I'll talk to you guys later. And remember, be kind. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!